Discover Dim. This is Jake Laughlin bringing you another episode of Discover Dim, a show brought to you by the Convention and Visitors Bureau, highlighting events around Dim. This week we have Kim Phillips of the Convention and Visitors Bureau, as well as Dana Lodge of the Convention and Visitors Bureau, talking about the Planner Zone. So check it out. It is a very, very cool event. Here is Discover Denton. Good afternoon, Denton, and welcome to Discover Denton. I'm Kim Phillips coming to you from the Denton Convention and Visitors Bureau here on DentonRadio.com. Thanks for being with us today. Now, today's guest on the show is not new to you out there because Dana Lodge was actually on the show just a few weeks ago talking about Denton's famous horse country tour. And of course, Dana, you manage the horse country tour and been great, greatly successful with that. But today we want to talk about another one of your projects, which is the Planner Zone Expo. Now, just a little background on Dana. If you didn't hear the show that we had her on just recently, Dana Lodge is the Director of Sales at the Convention and Visitors Bureau here in Denton. And and under her purview, besides sales with various clients for the Convention and Visitors Bureau, Dana totally produces and manages the Horse Country Tour and the staff related with the Horse Country Tour, as well as all the relationships that are necessary for the ranches that host those tours and make them so successful. And while we're on that, I will tell you the Horse Country Tour was just featured in Texas Monthly Magazine, Texas Monthly Online, and then picked up by the New York Times. We found ourselves doing a happy little hat dance around here, didn't we, Dana? We certainly did. It was a great uh, review on the Horse Country Tour in the New York Times, and it caught the attention of other local media as well. And as a result, we had a radio um, KRLD interview us as well. So it just picked up uh, quite a bit of buzz after the New York Times ran with it. It really did. Whatever she touches pretty much turns to gold. We're so glad to have Dana on our team. And the Planner Zone is another one of her babies. She actually got that started not long after she came here. What, seven years now that the Planner Zone for the yeah. planner zone? Yes. Uh, okay. This will be our seventh year. So we're going strong. It just seems to get better every single year. And Dana's been here longer than seven years, but it takes a while to put something of this magnitude together. I mean, what's what's really behind the planner zone? What's the professional thinking behind creating an event like this and, and investing the time and the effort that I know you and your team put together? Well, we wanted the Denton community to realize that we have the resources right here to help them pull off reunions, meetings, conferences, special events, even Christmas parties for companies. Um, We found a lot of our major employers and our large uh, university conferences immediately thinking that they're going to take that conference to Fort Worth or Grapevine or Dallas, our partners in the Metroplex, but we wanted them to realize, hey, look and see what we have right here. I bet you we can take care of you. We can put a first class conference on for you with all of our um, hospitality partners. And so born of that particular thought came this trade show to showcase all of these different vendors that can help them. Okay, so if it's not just venues though, right? It's not. It's it is venues, but it's also our hoteliers, caterers, restaurants, printers, transportation companies, DJ services, all kinds of attractions like the Horse Country Tour, um, any kind of an event that happens in Denton that um, you might want to send your attendees to if you're hosting a conference. Those are all represented at this trade show. So it's an opportunity in a one location, one stop shop to visit with all these different vendors. Yeah. And I think every year we've had people come up going, I had no idea all of this was available here in Denton. Yeah, there was just this mindset that you immediately thought you had to take the conference of any size, 300 people, obviously Denton couldn't handle it, was kind of the the mindset. And we wanted to get that changed. And it's not, and I know conferences, but you mentioned like reunions, yeah, weddings. family reunions. You don't have to be a professional meeting planner to get some valuable information out of this trade show. A lot of our large churches come because they're doing church retreats. Lots of people who put on family reunions, high school reunions, um, 
even companies who are just looking for a new venue for a Christmas party or they have um, different uh, employees that need lodging because they're bringing them in for sales training, something like that, they can all garner good information out of this. Great. I know with Pinterest nowadays, a lot of people are taking wedding planning into their own hands. And we're seeing kind of an increase of folks getting in touch with us about florists or maybe not even florists as much as supplies for doing their own thing with decorating. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, Denton is exploding as a wedding destination right now. We have all these facilities that have come into the marketplace in the past five years that represent this wide array of different wedding facilities that a person can um, utilize here in Denton, hopefully just once. But, <laughs> um, but along with that, we also showcase all of the vendors that you need to pull off a wedding. If it is a florist or chair covers or mm -hmm. Again, a DJ service. So a lot of those people as well are represented. So it can be sort of a little bit of a bridal show as well, although it is not strictly a bridal show. It's more all-encompassing. Mm -hmm. I know that um, over the years, we've talked to different people that have been at Planner Zone, and they have various stories all across the board of how they see themselves all of a sudden as a planner. Um, I remember visiting with one lady who was with her, the senior citizen kind of club, Sunday school group with a large church here in Denton. And her dilemma was, I don't know how to plan anything, but all of a sudden it's my job. So I came here to find out, you know, how to put on the Christmas banquet or how to put together a, you know, something fun to do around our community on you know, one day a month. So even planners like that find resources. Absolutely. And one of the things that we do actually have at the trade show is um, a person from our office that just will talk to people who need day tours. They may want to take a historic tour of Denton, or they may want to take a horse country tour, or they um, may want to take a tour around in the evening, kind of the nightlife to the different pubs. Those are different tours that we put together for groups. So um, it's a really a wide array of information. And again, you don't have to be a professional. You could be um, an administrative assistant to a professor at UNT. And all of a sudden, the professor has said, hey, I need to, you know, figure out what I'm going to do with these 10 people that are coming in from Germany next week. Can we find some fun things for them to do? This is the perfect place for you to find out those things that you can send those guests to. And it's definitely kind of become established in its it in is, its perception yeah. as the place to go when you need to find resources. It is. It's a great and it's free to attend. So lots of great food. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason well, it, to not be there. That was the next thing I was going to ask you is if you would kind of paint us a verbal picture of what it's like. I mean, is it stoic and you go from place to place and interview people or is it, what's the atmosphere like when you go there on your lunch hour? It's a really, really fun trade show and I would come hungry. Uh, it's held from 11 to 2 a.m. at the Gateway P Center. 2 p.m. I mean, 11 yes. a.m. to 2 p.m. <laughs> Sorry about that. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, at the Gateway Center. And um, it's just a very lighthearted, fun trade show where you visit from booth to booth. Um, I did mention the food. There's tons and tons of samples from our caterers and our restaurants that are showcasing what they can do for catering needs or large groups. Um, so definitely come hungry. But... Um, it's just a really light, fun atmosphere. Every vendor has a door prize. So the opportunity to win something really nice um, is is great for just about everybody. And so it's a wonderful way to spend um, your lunch hour um, and get a lot of resources at the same time. So who should attend? I mean, is it restricted? Do you have to be a... Do you have to come in with a purpose of I'm in charge of planning a meeting or can anybody walk in? It's open to the public and it is free to attend. So anybody can come. 
Um, and we welcome you because you never know. Tomorrow you may be planning something that you didn't think that you were going to be planning. Uh, they may um, all of a sudden call you up and say, hey, you're on the high school reunion committee and we exactly. need you to put this together. So we've had that client in the past, too. Yeah. And you never we all plan something, even if it's our child's birthday party. We all plan something. That doesn't mean we're professional meeting planners. And this show definitely addresses that. So anybody is welcome. I think that's underscored because um It can be any kind of an event that you're planning. Our whole goal here is keeping the business in Denton. Yes, absolutely. And uh, so, yeah, and a lot of our vendors uh, tell us at at the conclusion of Planner Zone that they walk away booking business because people are there and go, I had no idea. I've eaten at your restaurant a hundred times and had no idea there was this, Mm -hmm. this catering side of you or that this big room existed in your restaurant where I could have my event or... Yeah, like that. we've had really great results for our vendors and even more so for our attendees. Just wonderful feedback that they had no idea that Denton could actually handle, um, handle their event for them. So it's just been a really win-win situation. So anybody can attend and it's free to attend and it's at the Gateway Center, you said? Yes, at the Gateway Center at UNT. So um, sometimes people hear UNT and they kind of shy away because of the whole parking thing. Is there a solution, a parking solution specifically for this event? There is. This year, we're going to have a designated area right across the street from the Gateway Center in the Fouts Field parking lot designated for the planner zone attendees. It will be a section of that parking lot with an attendant. So all you have to do is say, I'm here to attend the planner zone and you'll get one of those front parking spots right across from the gateway. Be very easy. No risk of getting a ticket. Good deal. No charge. It'll work out. Just make your life really easy so that you can get in and spend all your time eating all the good food. Yay. Well, that's perfect. That's always the the biggest hiccup is, "Ah, I don't want a chance getting a ticket, but we're making it very, very easy. Yes. So, and thanks to UNT for coordinating with Dana and helping her um, get that all worked out for your benefit in attending the show. It's a lot of fun, just like Dana said. Um, DentonRadio.com's own Jake Laughlin will be emceeing the event. Yes, and so. some of his fabulous, wonderful musicians will be performing for us that day. So that'll be an added bonus. Good. And it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. I know I can't wait to be there. So one more time, the date? October 17th. And that's a Thursday? That's a Thursday. Okay. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Gateway Center at UNT. All right. Well, hopefully we will see you there out there in Denton. And um, in the meantime... Dana, thanks for being with us again today. Thanks for it's having always me. always a pleasure to hear about everything going on in your world. And uh, you rock. So, um, and Denton, thanks for joining us again today. This is Kim Phillips signing off from Discover Denton. And we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening. There you have it. That was this week's episode of Discover Denton. A big thanks to Kim Phillips of the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Another big thanks to Dana Lodge of the Convention and Visitors Bureau. A huge thanks to Gravity Feed for providing the intro and outro music. I'm Jake Laughlin, your host. Join us next week where we will be bringing you more highlights of our original and independent city. And in the meantime, go enjoy Denton.